Taking your raw fed pet to the vet can be incredibly nerve wracking, especially if your vet is against raw diets and always insisting you feed processed veterinary diets. Even when I worked with my veterinarian, I was still nervous to bring my pets in because I knew they weren't thrilled that I fed raw. As my pets were getting examined, thoughts would start racing through my head because I knew that if there was even a slight issue, their first thought might be that the diet is to blame. And when it comes time for bigger procedures like blood work, urinalysis, or stool sample checks, my anxiety would skyrocket. Parasites found in the stool sample? It's because you're feeding uncooked meat. Slightly different urine and blood work values? It's because you aren't feeding a balanced commercial diet. It's silly to worry about it, honestly, considering what veterinarians see every day. Because I know, I've been back there. We would see parasites in at least one stool sample each day, and we would just give them a dewormer and send them on their way. Bloody diarrhea? Sounds scary, but it's also something we commonly see. The vets usually would chalk it up to eating something they shouldn't have and send them home with bland food and medication. So why is it so different with a raw fed pet? Luckily, all of these fears were mostly in my head because none of my pets had ever had any skin issues, intestinal parasites, or major GI upset. However, there was something that my veterinarian noticed and voiced their concern about. And this is something that all raw feeders should be prepared for because almost all raw fed pets will show this abnormality. Imagine this, you take your raw fed pet in for their routine visit and the vet compliments you on their beautiful shiny coat, their clean ears, pearly white teeth, and healthy weight. But when it comes time to do their routine blood work, your vet comes back into the exam room saying that some of their blood values are off. And what they're saying is your pet's blood work isn't normal and the diet might be to blame. Are they wrong? Well, actually, no. The values that they're seeing are directly related to the diet. But is this a bad thing? Well, this is what you must know before a vet visit. Your raw fed pet's blood work values will differ from the values of a pet fed kibble and canned food. You see, these normal ranges that vets reference to make sure a pet is healthy have been established by cats and dogs fed commercial diets. These pets are eating a diet made up of grains, vegetables, meat meal, and synthetic nutrients. So naturally, they will have slightly different blood values from a pet fed a raw meat-based diet. So what are the values that will be slightly off? And why are they off? Number one, hematocrit or PCV. This is the amount of red blood cells in the blood and can appear higher in raw fed pets because they're eating highly digestible animal protein rather than low quality protein from plants and animal based byproducts. So because of this, they receive iron and B vitamins in their natural form. And these nutrients are necessary for red blood cell growth. Number two, creatinine or CR. This is a waste product created from protein breakdown. The concern vets have with creatinine being high is because they often see high numbers in pets with kidney issues. But if the levels are consistent over time and not increasing, this means that value is the pet's normal range. It can appear higher in raw fed pets because they're consuming animal-based ingredients with highly bioavailable amino acid profiles, i.e. protein. So it makes sense that it will be a bit higher than a pet fed a commercial diet. Number three, blood urea nitrogen or BUN. This is also a waste product produced during protein digestion and is then filtered out through the kidneys. Similar to creatinine, this can appear higher in raw fed pets because their diet is almost completely made up of animal-based ingredients that provide high quality animal-based protein. These numbers don't indicate that your pet is in a dangerous range. They're just a little higher than pets fed a processed diet. For instance, a study done on 256 healthy dogs showed the blood values of one group that was fed a raw diet and the other group that was fed a dry food diet. Of course, the hematocrit, creatinine, and blood urea nitrogen were higher in dogs fed raw diets. However, it was confirmed that these values were still within the normal healthy ranges. 
Now, this doesn't mean that these values should just be ignored. So if your vet is concerned, the best thing to do is get a recheck in a month or so. If these levels haven't increased, that means that these are your pet's normal levels. Now, I'm sure your vet will also talk about how raw diets can cause kidney issues. So before you have to be faced with this conversation, watch this video where I debunk this concern and explain what the culprit of kidney failure really is.